Now, hello everybody. In continuing with uh, my uh, series on radiology basics on YouTube, now today I'll be discussing a very small topic, but it is a very contemporary topic. I want you to know today that for uretric stones world over, we consider non-contrast CT abdomen as the investigation of choice. And I have seen as an undergraduate or a radiology resident, sometimes you find it tough to uh, you you are on an emergency call or you are an intern or a resident and you have a patient with uretric colic, you get a CT done as the part of the investigation protocol and how, what, what should you look for in a uretric stone. So I, I have a f set of uh, interesting signs that I want to discuss today which are seen on a CT scan in a uretric stone. The first sign I want to discuss today is perirenal cobwebs. Now this sign was initially described for renal vein thrombosis and uh, you know in patients with renal vein thrombosis you could visualize the perirenal septi in the fascia and they resembled cobweb and initially people thought uh, they are collaterals now with advent of technology we know that these are very commonly seen in patients with acute uretric obstruction and these perirenal septi probably represent in a patient with acute uretric stones acute uretric colic maybe they represent edema or back pressure changes or some extravasation that uh, that is visible so let me show you the sign okay so i want you to look at the kidneys and the surrounding area can you see the surrounding area are you able to see that how you can see prominent perirenal septae these are called as cobwebs and these are taken as a secondary sign of uretric obstruction second sign is soft tissue rim sign now what is soft tissue rim sign now whenever somebody would have a uretric stone the surrounding uretric wall would develop edema that is called a soft tissue rim sign and why do we need it because as a radiologist we have to differentiate between a uretric stone and a phlebolith okay a calculus or a calcific particle in a vein phlebolith so a phlebolith would unlikely there will uh, there it is very unlikely that a phlebolith would have a soft tissue rim once i see a soft tissue rim now this is how it looks like this is a stone and you can see a soft tissue edema around the stone which confirms the uretric nature of the stone this sign is called as the soft tissue rim sign okay and the third important sign that you have to learn as a uh, you know resident who is posted in emergency and looking for uretric stones is a comet sign a calcified phlebolith will show a comet sign where the phlebolith would make up the nucleus of the comet and the vein will form the tail of the comet once you see this you know it's very common to see such appearance you will see this is the bladder and you can see the phlebolith with associated comet tail this comet tail sign represents phlebolith and this helps us to differentiate a phlebolith from a uretric stone again my take home message for today's session would be that today NCCT is considered the investigation of choice for urinary tract stones and there are in signs on a CT scan which we do not conventionally read in a medical school as a undergraduate or a resident which help you practically to identify a patient with uretric stone. Thank you very much and for more such videos feel free to subscribe to our channel Dams Daily on YouTube for more such informative videos. Thank you very much.